Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be flying out the J2M2 Raiden today. It's a 4.0 BR uh, Japanese fighter. We're, we're clearly in it air realistic. So, I'm going to show you guys something real cool. The fighter that's going to give you the most trouble is going to be a Spitfire. And the coolest thing about this fighter is you can outclimb Spitfires. Okay? You can. Most of the time, you will outclimb Spitfires. Right? And the maneuver I'm going to show you is, it's actually pretty fun to do. At high altitudes, the Spitfires cannot follow you in a corkscrew. Make sure they have the, they are at the same altitude as you, okay, or just below you. Now watch this, we, we, we're roughly at the same altitude, watch this. It's coming towards me and I just pull up. I decided to corkscrew and then because right now I'm fighting about three to four Spitfires at the same time. Okay? Three to four Spitfires at the same time. So I take my time doing my corkscrew and then I dive on him. So that's really it to it. You know, there's no there's no nothing that takes a lot of skill to do. So you just have to know where the enemy is. But make sure you don't do this maneuver if the Spitfires are above you at high altitude. They have a they they still have a great rudder on them. Okay? So if they're above you, just run away from them till um till you get some distance. But remember you can still outclimb them. Um the Spitfires at this PR, they are not griffins, so yeah, you you know you're not really gonna go up against that many griffins at this uh, BR. So once again, I merge with them, then I go into a corkscrew. So that's all I do. That's all I do over and over and over. After I go into a cork corkscrew, then I set myself up with uh, boom and zoom. So I'm just chasing the other. I was thinking about chasing that Spitfire down because he's climbing. Again, I'm going into a merge. And then I am pulling towards him, turning into it, turning it into a um, corkscrew, a vertical corkscrew. So, th this thing is basically like a P-47N. It's just a little bit more maneuverable than the P-47 with the... It doesn't have the roll rate of a P-47N, but it definitely got the maneuverability at higher altitude. So I push him down, and then there's another two more Spitfires behind me. So... So for anyone who thought that um, Japanese are mainly turn fighters, yeah, they they got a couple of really good um, high altitude fighters as well. So I think the I think I'm pretty sure the the higher tier J, the ratings are a little bit nerfed as far as the energy retention goes. I'm not sure about that, but. They did nerf um, something when it came to um, to the Japanese. Not this patch, but the previous patch. So there's three more Spitfires hanging around, <coughs> and finally one of them takes the bay. I ride her over. take him out. Now, I'm, we're going to go to lower altitudes now. Remember, at lower altitudes, you are faster than the Spitfires, but you're not faster than uh, US planes. But, you can outmaneuver US, you can outmaneuver Russia. Well, sort of, you can outmaneuver the Russians. And, um... But, definitely not the Brits, though. So, but, again, I'm going to show you that vertical, um, maneuverability on this fighter like it, it 
it's probably at this tier it's one of the better um, fighters in the Japanese lineup that got good energy retention to do this maneuvers like if, you, if I did that in a, a zero I'd be dead by now so So it, I think it, uh, it starts to compress about 550, 600 kilometers per hour. So other than that, everything is pretty smooth. Good, you know, amazing diving ability. Good turn rate, good roll rate on it, definitely. So, so I'm going to show you guys um, how to use that corkscrew again to bait enemies up. Now there's a P-51 and there's a P-38 that just shot me. And I, and I know there's a zero around me somewhere. So watch this. I, I take them up and I take them to a corkscrew. And they can't exactly um, keep up with me. The P-51 take, gets taken out and the zero gets taken out. So there's no enemies in our area. So we decide to go over over there in front of me so you can you can use this um, corkscrew to even uh, get away from enemy fire when you're trying to bait them up so I'm gonna show you that here now so that P-38's shooting at me and just be like at with US planes you can't do this you would stall out quite easily at times but because of the J2M2's characteristics, you just, you don't. <laughs> so, I think going against Germans, uh, it's quite easy actually, because um, the Fokkable 190s, they, they're low altitude fighters. The BF Bononen can climb, but that's, they become quite stiff as they gain altitude. So, See me going against uh, the 190 here. I'm still like at a high speeds. You still got to get used to the guns because they have this uh, second slowest velocity after the Germans. But the good thing is you got wing mounted, so you got that spray that that you really need at times. Now. I talked about the BF-109 being quite stiff, so you're going to see it now. Even though they can climb, you can easily um, use energy maneuvers to get behind them. Right, here we go. Again, all I'm going to do is merge with them and then do a big corkscrew uh, going up. There we go. And he realizes that he doesn't have the energy to come up with me, so he decided to dive out, gain some energy, and then come at me come up at me. What happens is I ended up reading this so I decided to um, just avoid him and just avoid him stay at my altitude and wait till he gets slow. So he here he is coming right back up me up at me. So he's starting to pop up. So I decided to stay at altitude. Pop my combats up, takeoffs combats and I'm pretty sure I took his engine out right here right there so it is that bail out so also um, make sure you don't fight Spitfires like this at low altitude all you have to do is just easily run away from them and climb other than that I hope you guys learned something had fun see you guys later next time